you very much. Is everybody happy? Yeah! Good. Well, we've got no problems. I've got no problems. Hey, but you know, some people have problems. Imagine if you're somebody really important, like, say, for instance, the Prime Minister. Then you've got problems, haven't you? Here's something funny. Sweep. You know Sweep. You know what a small brain he's got. Well, he wants to have a go at being the Prime Minister of this country. Anyway, Sooty's got a brand new invention centre. It's just over there. And he's invented a machine for enlarging Sweep's brain. So let's go around and see if it works, shall we? Let's go around to Sooty's invention centre. Here we go. Here we are. This is Sooty's invention centre. It's smashing, isn't it? Oh, look. This is Colin the computer. I'll say good afternoon to him. Good afternoon, Colin. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Matthew. Hey, let's go through to the inner laboratory, shall we? Through this door here. Here we go. Well, here we are. Oh, there's Sooty as well. Sooty, wave to the boys and girls. Say hello to Sooty. Lovely. Put the screwdriver down, Sooty, because I want to ask you all about this experiment of yours. Come on back up here. Now then, where's Sweep? He's having a lie down before the operation. Oh, that's very sensible. Well, uh, listen, perhaps you can outline for the boys and girls and myself exactly what it is that you're going to do. He shows some illustrations. He's going to show us some pictures to show exactly what's going to happen. Press the button. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That's a diagram of Sweep's head. Just a minute. What's that little white dot in the middle, Sooty? That's his brain. Just look at that. It's about the size of a pea. Well, that'll definitely need enlarging, Sooty. You show me what it's going to be like after the experiment. Right, press the button and let's have a look. See what it's going to be like. Oh, that's much better. That's much larger. But listen, Sooty, I mean, how do you know that it's going to work? You give me a demonstration. Hang on, he's going to give us all a demonstration of how it works. Oh, oh look at this. Isn't that lovely? A little kitten. Hey, Sooty. I hope you're not going to hurt this little kitten. Oh, he says he's been enlarged before and he actually quite likes it. Well, what am I to do with him? Go and put him in that enlarging booth over there. All right, I'll take this little kitten and put it in the enlarging booth. You get all the controls set, Sooty. I'll just pop him around here. There's a good little kitten. He's lovely, isn't he? Anyway, we're going to put him in here. There we go. You go in there. Close the door. All right, Sooty, press the button and start enlarging. Listen to that. That should be enough, Sooty. Stop it now. Stop it. Oh, I can't wait to see what's happened because that little kitten is going to be an enormous cat now. I hope it works. Open the door, Sooty, and let's have a look. Oh, look at that! It's a lion! That little tiny kitten. There's a good pussy. Nice to see you. Listen, you go and get yourself a gallon of milk and a couple of sides of beef, and we'll see you later. Go on. <laughs> roar, roar. Close the door, Sooty. Listen, I can't wait to get started on Sweep's brain, so I'm coming back inside. Here we go. Where is he? Sooty. Oh, he's inside the computer. I'll just get him out. Come on, Sooty, out you come. That's a good boy. Now, what about Sweep? Got to get Sue to bring him in. I'll get Sue just a minute. Sue, yeah. can you bring Sweep in, the patient, please? It won't be Sweep. <laughs> Here's Sue and Sweep. Oh, hello, Sweep. You see what? Sweep, where are you? Sweep! Come back here, bird brain. Listen, I think it's very brave of you to have your brain enlarged, but uh, why are you doing it, really? He wants to be the Prime Minister. Yeah. Well, you need your brain enlarging, Sweep, so off you go into the little enlarging booth at yes. the end. Follow me to the synthesizing booth. They're all going off to the synthesizing booth. Right, we'll get on the controls, Sooty, and start to operate them because we're now going to make Sweep's brain larger. Press the button, and off we go. <coughs> what? <coughs> what's, oh, what's, dear. what's that noise, Sooty? It's I'll an alarm. You... Something's gone wrong. Sue, get him out yes, of there. Something's will. gone wrong. Come on, Sweep, oh, out dear. you come. Oh, I hope he's all right. Come on, I hope he's all right. Oh, yes, well, he looks yes. all right to me. Oh, hang on, sweet. Sooty's just told me what's gone wrong. You knew we were going to enlarge your brain. Well, I'm afraid we haven't enlarged your brain, but we have enlarged your legs. Oh, look at that. What? You feel fine? Well, you don't look fine. You're growing it about an inch a second. Yes. Oh, Sooty said it's only temporary, sweet. Don't worry about yes. it. Uh, uh, and if I may interrupt, Professor, yes. this did happen once before. And the cause was 
Insufficient decontamination of personnel. Insufficient decontamination? Mm -hmm. What on earth do you mean? Mm -hmm. You mean that I'm mucky? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. not mucky. Well, I should do as the professor says, Matthew. What, you mean I've got to go into that mm -hmm. decontaminating chamber yes, over yes. there? Mm -hmm. I've got to go and get myself decontaminated. Mm -hmm. Come with me, Sooty, and operate the uh, instructions. That's it. I'm going to get decontaminated. I'm going to be the cleanest Matthew you've ever seen. I go in this booth here, do I? All right. Commence decontamination. <laughs> Just a minute, with legs that size, you should be going for the long jump, not the Prime Minister. Well, don't worry, Matthew, because Sooty says you'll be back to normal within five minutes. Oh, I'm going to be normal mm. again soon, yes. that's good. Mm. Well, it's just time, then, to make a short announcement. Do you get it? Short announcement. <clears throat> well, the short announcement is I'm going to tell you who the guest artist this week is on the Sooty Show, and we're very pleased to welcome back our old friend, Larry Parker! <laughs> Here's a story about a boy called Jim, who lived many years ago, and one day, Jim decided he was going away to sea in a tall sailing ship. Before he went there, his father said to him, Jim, lad, wherever he goes, take with thee this year canvas bag. He spoke like that because it was the olden days. So he took the canvas bag to sea with him, and after he'd been at sea for about six months, he thought, I'd like to be the captain of a sailing ship like this, but nobody would let him be the captain because he couldn't remember the sailor's name. Then he remembered the canvas bag. He took it down from his bunk, he opened it up, he looked inside, and all he found was a piece of newspaper. So he took the newspaper and he started to tear it. Now, this is where I want you to help Jim, because sailors in those days, when they had their names called out, they shouted, here, like that. I want you to help at home as well. So when I call out a name, I want you to say, here, like the sailors did when I call out uh, the name like Jim did. So we'll have a practice. Uh, I'll think of a name. Um, Smith. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, but, you know, when you're at sea, there's a lot of noise. The sails flap and the timbers creak, so we have to make it just a little bit louder than that. Can we try again when I call out a name? Are you ready? Smith! Yeah! Marvellous. Right then. Are you ready with the hears? Good. I'm ready with the names. Here we go, see if everybody's on parade this morning. Smith! Yeah. Brown! Yeah. Pumpernickel! Yeah. Jones! Yeah. Bultitude! Yeah. Green! Yeah. Fitzherbert! Yeah. Snodgrass! Yeah. There we are, all present and correct. <laughs> but this didn't do Jim much good. But one day, there was a terrible storm at sea. The thunder rolled, the lightning flashed, and the ship went right down to the bottom of the ocean. And when he got to the bottom of the ocean, Jim floated up again to the top. And he swam ashore to a desert island. When he got to this island, he looked around, and, and there was nothing but trees. Trees everywhere on the island. And every day, he used to climb up these trees to look out to sea to see what he could see. And when he looked out to sea, all he could see was... <laughs> exactly, yeah. And he got tired of climbing up through the branches, so he thought, now what I need is a good, strong ladder. So he looked in the canvas bag and he found another piece of newspaper. So he took the newspaper and he started to tear it. Now, this is where you have to help again. Because sailors in those days, when they wanted to lift anything like a ladder or pull on anything, they always had to say, heave ho. That's what I want you to do, everybody. So, now, we don't all do it at once. What we do is we divide you in half and everybody on that side, when I nod that way, you say, heave. And when I nod that way, you say, ho. We'll have a practice, shall we? Just with the heaves. Now, the ones who say ho, don't help. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, oh, not, not yet. 
Now, the ones who say heave, don't say anything. The ones who say ho. Ready? Ho! Very good. Shall we try it just once, one after the other? Are you ready? And it's heave! Heave! Ho! Very good. Right, let's see if we can make this ladder stand up on the island for Jim. Are you ready? And it's heave! heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! There we are, and that's how we made the ladder for the desert island. So, every day he climbed up the ladder to look out to sea to see what he could see. And when he looked out to sea, all he could see was... <laughs> but one day, there was a ship on the horizon. It came in, took him on board, and when he got on board, he was very pleased to find all the sailors that he'd known on his old ship. They'd all been saved, and they were all on the new ship. He thought, it's marvellous. What I'll do is I'll take one last look in the canvas bag, see if I can find another piece of newspaper. I'll tear it up, give each of my friends a piece, and perhaps it'll bring them as much luck as it's brought me. So he lined up all his friends, and he started to call out their names, just to make sure that they each got a piece of paper. So, are you... Are you ready with the hears? I'm going to call out the names again. First of all, there was a piece of paper for Smith. Yeah. And a piece of paper for Brown. Yeah. A piece of paper for Pumpernickel. Yeah. A piece for Jones. Yeah. One for Multitude. Yeah. A piece for Green. One for Fitzherbert. Yeah. And a piece for Snodgrass. Yeah. And when they each had a piece of paper, Jim was left with what he'd always wanted, a sailing ship of his very own. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm back to normal size. Have you noticed? There's something else about me I bet you haven't noticed. Do you notice anything different about me this series? Do you? Different clothes, yes, that as well. But no, actually, what it is, I've lost weight. I've been to a health farm, I've been on a diet, and I've lost a lot of weight. Such and Sweep didn't realise either. Anyway, Sweep's round in Sooty's kitchen right now, so I'm going to go and see if he realises what's happened to me. Come on, round to Sooty's kitchen. Oh, hello, Sweep. Just a minute, what's that you've got in that pan? It smells nice. Sauc sausages and bacon. Hmm, smells delicious. Put that down a minute, Sweet. Come over here. Come over here. Sweet, do you notice anything different about me this series? What? I've got a new shirt. You know I haven't got a new shirt. Something else. What about something else? You notice anything, uh... I've got a new wig. I haven't got a new wig. I never had a wig in the first place. No, Sweet. Something to do with my weight. Do you notice any difference to do with my weight? I'm putting on a bit. I'm not putting on a bit. As a matter of fact, I've lost a stone. How about that? What are you doing? What are you looking for? Looking for the stone? No, not that sort of stone. A stone in weight. Hey, listen, talking of weight, you're looking extremely weighty. I'm not surprised. Have you seen what he's eating? Look, he's got sausages and bacon in there, a great big bag full of sweets, a bag full of dog biscuits, and a great pile of sandwiches, jam sandwiches. I'm going to have to tell Sooty about this, see what he says. Sooty, come on in here. Come on, look. We've got a bit of a problem here with Sweep, I think, because he's eating so much. Come and have a look what he's got. He's got sausages and bacon, sweets, dog biscuits, and a great big plate of sandwiches. You'll have to go on a diet. That's a good idea. A diet, Sweep. That's right, a diet. And it just so happens that I got a diet that I got from the health farm when I was there. So let's get the ingredients of this diet together. Sweep, you stand over there and don't touch any food. You tell me if Sweep touches that food. Let's have a look at this diet sheet. Now, first of all, we want some, uh, some tomato puree. Yeah. Oh, sweet! Put the sweets down. Thank you very much. You tell me if you touch it again. Don't touch it. It'll be all right this time. We want an egg. Well, we've got plenty of eggs, haven't we? There's one in the fridge. And uh, we want some... Sweet! Don't touch those! What are we going to do with him, Sooty? You think you know what to do? Sooty's got the answer, I think. No, don't! Don't just knock everything! Sooty! He won't touch it now. No, I know he won't touch it now, because it's all over the floor. Look, stand there, sweet. We're going to get this diet together. So first of all, what we want is uh, some tomato puree. You think you know where there's a tomato? A tomato? 
Well, I don't think that's quite what we want. No, Sooty, uh, we want it uh, all pulverised, you know. I mean, it's... Just a minute. Not, not with the... No, don't hit it with... No, don't hit it with a hammer! It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be all slushy and sloppy in a can. Like Sweep's brain. Well, yeah, I suppose... I suppose it's a bit slushy and sloppy. No, let's ask Sue. She's got a can of tomato puree. Sue, are you there? Yes. Have you got a can of uh, tomato puree? Hello, Chubby. What do you mean, hello, Chubby? Hey. Don't be cheeky. Tomato puree, Sue. We oh, want oh a can. yes, Matthew, I have. I've just opened a tin. It's there. Look, oh, don't, oh, there. Isn't that convenient? Yeah. Go and get it, Bye. Susie. Oh, goodbye, Sue. Well, we've got the tomato puree. Now we need a bowl to put it in. Go and get a bowl, Susie. And uh, it's not a goldfish bowl. Don't know why you keep these in here anyway. They're only carrots. They're not goldfish. There you are. Look, I'll see if I can find... Sweep! Stop drinking the goldfish water. Put it down there. Oh, here's the bowl, look. There we are. Right, so... Uh, uh, put, put the puree in there. I'm going to just empty this can of stuff into here. There. Ooh, it's gooey, isn't it? Right, there we are. What do we want next? Have a look at the diet sheet. That's a good idea. Leave that alone, Sweep. Oh, we want an egg. We want an egg. Right, we'll leave that over there, Sweep. We're just going to get an egg. Come on, over to the fridge, Sooty. There's one. Oh, homegrown egg. Get that out. Now, just a minute, Sooty. Just a minute. Every time we get an egg out on this programme, I seem to get into a terrible mess. So I want you to treat this very, very gently. Do you understand? Very gently. Go down there and see if you can get something to put it on. That's it. Look at that. A velvet cushion. Right, be very gentle. That's a good boy. Oh, he's treating it gently, isn't he? Now, see if you can put the egg into the bowl very, very gently. Do you understand? Pick it up gently and pop it into the bowl. No, don't throw it in! <laughs> I knew this would happen. Look, get rid of that. Sweet, let's have a look at the diet sheet. Um, oh, yes, we want some yoghurt. Now, we'll go and get the yoghurt, Sweet, and have a look at this. Remember that everything on there has got to go in here. All of that lot has got to go in here. Let's go and get the yoghurt, Sweetie. There's some in the fridge. I saw it. Oh, here's the yoghurt. That's it. We'll just uh, close the fridge door. Come over here, Sweetie. Put the yoghurt in here. What, pour the whole lot in like that. Right, well, if we can just find the... Where's the diet sheet? Where's it? You don't know? What's it done with the diet sheet? Oh, look at that sweep. Look. It's all white on one side and red on another. Well, fortunately, we don't need it anymore because we're finished. You, you just got to stir it up. So he's just going to give it a good stir then, right. But be very gentle, Sooty. Mind you... Never mind about that. We'll clear it up later. But now, Sweep, it's time to have the diet mixture. So, uh, wh what are you lying down for? Rub it on your tummy. Sweep, it's not a lotion. We don't rub it on your tummy, you know. You know what do we do with it? You eat it, Sweep. That's what you do. Yeah, that's right. You want Sooty to try it first? Well, let's go down there and see if we can find a spoon, Sooty. Because he's going to try it first. Shall, shall we get Sooty to try it first? Yeah! Oh, here's the spoon. Well, look, I'll, I'll take it off you, Sooty. And you just have a little try of that. And, uh, no, don't be a baby. Just take it. <laughs> Sooty, don't be a baby. What's the matter? You want me to try it first? <laughs> shall I try it? Yeah! Well, I don't mind because it's... Mm, <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, dear. I'm not surprised that people don't stick to diets. I'm not going to stick to it. I'm going to be fat and happy. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, boys, we'll all have a cream tea afterwards, all right? They're pleased about that. And there's something to please you as well, because now it's time to go to Sooty's Disco! Sound. It's the place where hip people meet. Hey, hey, it's the best disco town. Pop and boogie all around. It's no place to sit in your seat. Hey, hey, we're at our best there. We never get a rest there. You might be the right guy. 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 Music goes round. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we hope that you enjoyed the first in the Sooty Series. Don't forget to join us same time, same place next week for the Sooty Show! No problems, I've got no problems. Hey, but you know, some people have problems. Imagine if you're somebody really important, like, say, for instance, the Prime Minister, then you've got problems, haven't you? Here's something funny. Sweep, you know Sweep, you know what a small brain he's got? Well, he wants to have a go at being the Prime Minister of this country. Anyway, Sooty's got a brand new invention centre. It's just over there, and he's invented a machine for enlarging Sweep's brain. So let's go around and see if it works, shall we? Let's go around to Sooty's invention centre. Here we go. Here we are. This is Sooty's Invention Centre. It's smashing, isn't it? Oh, look, this is Colin the computer. I'll say good afternoon to him. Good afternoon, Colin. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Matthew. Hey, let's go through to the inner laboratory, shall we? Through this door here. Here we go. Well, here we are. Oh, there's Sooty as well. Sooty, wave to the boys and girls. Say hello to Sooty. Lovely. Put the screwdriver down, Sooty, because I want to ask you all about this experiment of yours. Come on back up here. Now then, where's Sweep? He's having a lie down before the operation. Oh, that's very sensible. Well, uh, listen, perhaps you can outline for the boys and girls and myself exactly what it is that you're going to do. He shows some illustrations. He's going to show us some pictures to show exactly what's going to happen. Press the button. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that! That's a diagram of Sweep's head. Just a minute. What's that little white dot in the middle, Sooty? That's his brain. Just look at that. It's about the size of a pea. Well, that'll definitely need enlarging, Sooty. You show me what it's going to be like after the experiment. Right, press the button and let's have a look. See what it's going to be like. Oh, that's much better. That's much larger. But listen, Sooty, I mean, how do you know that it's going to work? You give me a demonstration. Hang on, he's going to give us all a demonstration of how it works. Oh, oh, look at this. Isn't that lovely? A little kitten. Hey, Sooty, I hope you're not going to hurt this little kitten. Oh, he says he's been enlarged before and he actually quite likes it. Well, what am I to do with him? Go and put him in that enlarging booth over there. All right, I'll take this little kitten and put it in the enlarging booth. You get all the controls set, Sooty. I'll just pop him around here. There's a good little kitten. He's lovely, isn't he? Then anyway, we're going to put him in here. There we go. You go in there. Close. I think your machine has malfunctioned again. Well, open the door! Yes. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh. Well, I'm all right, Sue. Just, just a minute. Look at the size of you, Sue. You're twice as big as you were when I went inside. A sweep, you're enormous. Sue, you're gigantic. No. Hey, look at all the boys and girls. You're, the, you're enormous. Excuse me. Uh, little Matthew. What, Sue? But it's not us that's bigger. It's you that's got smaller. It's me that's got smaller? <laughs> what do you mean, hello, Shorty? Just a minute, with legs that size, you should be going for the long jump, not the Prime Minister. Well, don't worry, Matthew, because Sooty says you'll be back to normal within five minutes. Oh, I'm going to be normal mm. again soon. Yes. That's good. Mm. Well, it's just time, then, to make a short announcement. Do you get it? Short announcement. <clears throat> Well, the short announcement is I'm going to tell you who the guest artist this week is on The Sushi Show. And we're very pleased to welcome back our old friend, Larry Parker! Here's a story about a boy called Jim who lived many years ago. And one day, Jim decided he was going away to sea in a tall sailing ship. Before he went there, his father said to him, Jim, lad, Wherever he goes, take with thee this year canvas bag. He spoke like that because it was the olden days. So he... And start to operate them because we're now going to make Sweet's brain larger. Press the button and off we go. <coughs> what? <coughs> what's, oh, what's, dear. what's that noise, Sooty? It's I'll the alarm. You... Something's gone wrong. Sue, get him out yes, of there. Something's gone wrong. Come on, Sweet. Oh, I'll dear. Oh, I hope he's all right. 
Come on, sweet. Oh, yes, well, he looks yes. all right to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, sweet. Sooty's just told me what's gone wrong. You knew we were going to enlarge your brain. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid we haven't enlarged your brain, but we have enlarged your legs. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. What? You feel fine? Yeah. Well, you don't look fine. You're growing it about an inch a second. Yeah. Oh. Sooty said it's only temporary, sweet. Don't worry about yes. it. Uh, and if I may interrupt, Professor, yes. this did happen once before, and the cause was insufficient decontamination of personnel. Insufficient decontamination? Yes, yes. What on earth do you mean? Mm. You mean that I'm mucky? Oh, I'm not mucky. Well, I should do as the Professor says, Matthew. What, you mean I've got to go into that mm. decontaminating chamber yes, yes. over there? Mm. I've got to go and get myself decontaminated. Mm. Come with me, Sooty, and operate the uh, instructions. That's it. I'm going to get decontaminated. I'm going to be the cleanest Matthew you've ever seen. I go in this booth here, do I? All right. Commence decontamination. <laughs> Should be enough, Sooty. Stop it now. Stop it. Oh, I can't wait to see what's happened because that little kitten is going to be an enormous cat now. I hope it works. Open the door, Sooty, and let's have a look. Oh, oh look at that! Oh, it's a lion! That little tiny kitten. There's a good pussy. Nice to see you. Listen, you go and get yourself a gallon of milk and a couple of sides of beef, and we'll see you later. Go on. <laughs> roar, roar. Close the door, Sooty. Listen. I can't wait to get started on Sweet's brain, so I'm coming back inside. Here we go. Where is he? Sooty? Oh, he's inside the computer. I'll just get him out. Come on, Sooty, out you come. That's a good boy. Now, what about Sweet? Got to get Sue to bring him in. I'll get Sue just a minute. Sue! Yeah. Can you bring Sweep in, the patient, Certainly. please? Certainly. Here's Sue and Sweet. Oh, hello, Sweet. You see what? Sweet, where are... Sweet! Come back here, bird brain. Listen, I think it's very brave of you to have your brain enlarged, but uh, why are you doing it, really? He wants to be the Prime Minister. Well, you need your brain enlarging, Sweep, so off you go into the little enlarging booth at yes, the end. follow me to the synthesizing booth. We're all going off to the synthesizing booth. Right, we'll get on the controls, Sooty. 